So as you can see, the mast is back in and the season is almost back on. Prop shaft back the other day as well. So we're gonna get that in in a couple of weeks and then that'll be good to go. I just wanna show you how we do the um, mast because it's a little bit odd and there's a little bit of a funny story to go along with this as well. So we use a, a mast crane here. It's just a big crane that we have that we uh, tying this hook onto it with a, a strap and we lift it up by the spreaders and that'll hoist it up and it spins it around to uh, put it into the boat. Not a very hard process, but uh, sometimes it takes a little bit to get everything just right so that uh, so that it, it all goes smoothly. So after we got the mast in, we uh, had to get it back to the dock and we were going to use a dinghy tied to the side of the boat to do this, but uh, by the time we got the mast in, it was already darkened and we really didn't feel like uh, pumping it up. So we ended up uh, paddling it slash dragging it back around. <laughs> so we were on this dock here and we, <laughs> We threw ourselves onto this dock right over here and then we ended up pulling it around the dock and uh, then throwing it at the next dock down and then the next dock down. Um, <laughs> and mind you, it was all flat calm out here, um, but we did. We managed to do it. it. It went good. It was pretty smooth and... Uh, yeah, once we got to the end of the docks, we had to paddle around the, the rest of the island <laughs> to get it back into its slip, but uh, we made it back. So now we're just going to put on the sails and uh, put the boom back on and get the sails up and get ready to go again. So here I'm just putting the gooseneck back on because I took it off for the winter because I didn't want it clanging around. And then I'm just going to put on my uh, boom and attach it to the topping lift so that... Uh, it's sitting up where I need it to be. I'm rather excited about my main sheet this year because I decided to change it out because the old one was uh, stretched out and chafing and wasn't very good. But I decided to go with, uh, I think it's called Warp Speed. It's got the Dyneema core with uh, kind of a sheath on the outside to help protect it from chafe. So there's gonna be zero stretch uh, in this line so I won't have the problems where I want it to be set to something and get a little bit extra pressure on the sail and it stretches out a bit lets a little bit uh, of that wind go and sometimes that can be a good thing but I like the heel so uh, <laughs> I don't mind going over and <laughs> putting the, the rails in the water so I'm I'm rather excited. I've only done this with two lines on the boat, and that would be, well, I guess sheets. Um, one is going to be my main sheet, and then the other one is going to be my boom fang is going to be uh, the, this line as well. So that'll just give me better control over the pitch of my boom. They just go in these little pockets here that are built into the bag when they got some Velcro on this side. So you just open them up and then they will slide right on in there. So slide on down the bag. You can see going down the bag there. So now I just use my lazy jacks to get it on the boom and because I have the stack pack it just acts like a loose footed main. When I pull on my lazy jacks the whole thing will come up nice and evenly tensioned and I'm going to slide it forward just to get the the track here in the track of the, the boom and we'll slide it on back. Just doing some editing here and realizing I didn't really do a good job of introducing this part. Uh, what had happened was when we were putting up the mast, 
Two of my halliers got stuck in my spreaders and nobody noticed it. So then after the fact, we had to find a way to, uh, <laughs> to, to get them on the right side of the mast. The way we chose to do this is tying a monkey's fist uh, to the end of a line uh, so that, <laughs> that we could throw it through the spreaders and uh, retrieve <laughs> those two, two halyards and, and bring them back to the right side of the mast. We had an absolute hoot with this, uh, as you will see in this next little bit. Rope ready. No! Oh, Dude! <laughs> yeah, we gotta go backwards. Chris, what <laughs> she gotta go backwards. It went from, I can do that in one second. <laughs> it's not getting any better. <laughs> I'm gonna take a whack at this here. Up high. Whoa! Okay, that was actually... no! oh! That's the wrong spreader. <laughs> so Why did it? Oh! Did you see? So I don't think you're going to be able to see it that well, but it got really dark on us really quickly after having the fun with uh, the monkey's fist. So we were throwing that over so that um, we could take the halyards that got put on the wrong side of the spreader over them and on the right side so that we could get those sails raised and, and put in. Uh, unfortunately, it got a little too dark to get that on, on film, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But we have all our sails on there. So we got the main in, in a stack pack. We got the stay sail in its bag. And then we have what is supposed to be the Yankee uh, on a roller furling. So everything's set and ready to go. And... Uh, now we just need the prop shaft in and, and the season will be on. So it's very exciting uh, for me and I'm quite pumped about it. Also really pumped that I have my quarter berth back now and uh, can stay in my regular spot. Uh, but that's going to be it for, for this time. And uh, we will see you shortly for the, the prop shaft install.